dragon. A dragon is a legendary creature, typically with serpentine or reptilian traits and features. A feature of the myths of many cultures. Two distinct cultural traditions of dragons. The East European dragon, derived from European folk traditions, outly related to Greek and the Middle Eastern mythologies. A Chinese dragon, counterparts in Japan, Korea and other East Asian countries. They met. The two traditions may have influenced separately, but they have influenced each other to a certain extent, particularly the cross-cultural contact of recent culture centuries. Sightings and hoaxes. The first 1988 edition, 1998 online edition, Natural Museum, revealed a discovery Discovery a near complete skeleton of theropod dinosaur in New North Dakota. Discovery is referred to an article by Henry Gree discussing dragon like tr- tr- dinosaurs. Creatures named after Snag Mag, tourist dragon featuring the Hobbit. A dragon skeleton had reportedly been discovered by Randy Sturbia, Museum of the University of Southern North Dakota. Citing part of the discovery, according to the article, with searches believed as a dinosaur. But now, named as Samaga Vokoros, would have, would have, could have flown. Actuality, the University of Southern North Dakota does not exist, though it's been made famous by Peter Cerrone, who offers to, to its location with a music obscure in 18th century composer. P. D. Q. Bach was first performed secondly. First, the name Scabara was actually the 76 L of the groan in Melvin Peake's fictional Tullus groan. L believed that he was an owl, a leap to his death from the high tower. It's coming too late, he could not fly. Variations, various other dragon hoaxes include a case in December 2003. David Hart claimed to have found a pickled dragon, or more precisely what appeared to be a thesis of a winged reptile type. Creatures are preserved in 30 inch Tall John Fermanagh Hyde in his garage in Sutton Connolly, Oxfordshire. He then showed a friend, out of Mitchell, who runs a marketing company, Oxford. A pair had told the press that the dragon was found, with documents suggesting it had been offered to the National History Museum in the late 19th century by German scientist Mitchell. She suggested it was an attempt by Germans to discredit their British colleagues. According to this story, David Hart's grandfather, Said to have been a porter in the museum, saved the specimen from being destroyed, been left in a crate by his, in, a, by, in his garage by Hart's farmer, remained there for 12, 20 years before being rediscovered. In reality, the drag was made by a model makers behind the BBC series Walking Dragons, and the jar was made by a specialist glass blowing studio, hoax of the public facility stunt to popularise Mitchell's forthcoming novel, one in publishing contract with Wolf of the Stones, a major British book selling chain. Two thousand one, Cole Shuka, one of the thirteen founders of Cryptozoology, wrote an article regarding Dragon Sightings. British naturalists and some colleagues were conducting some search in the area after being notified the locals something strange had been seen earlier in the year. As they stood on the edge of some woods of a quarry, they suddenly spied an entirely strongly entity measuring 2.5 feet in length. It resembled a serpentine dragon with four short limbs, but his head was shaped very like that of a seahorse. It was airborne, undulating and wiggling, as it flew, as it flew about ten feet above the surface quarry in a wide circle. And they would recall seeing any wings. It had a long tail and terminated in, in a pair of horizontal, well like flutes. The entity was green in colour, and shimmered somewhat, but appeared Solid, not translucent or peripheral. They watched it for three to four minutes at a distance, approximately fifty feet, but it finally vanished in one of the numerous caves, large crevices putting, pitting the quarry. A naturalist had a distinct impression while watching it that the creature was definitely liberally seeking to keep them at bay, warning them off, approaching further into territory. His book is strongly animals revisited. Entitled Champ, titled Unmentionables, he discusses again as a mysterious flying creature. But in 2001, a quarry 
Perez Wells, resembling a serpentine dragon, four short limbs, a head shaped like a sea horse, and undulating. It flew about ten feet above the surface of the quarry in a wide circle. Shoko wrote his pull came from a bona fide naturalist who was not named for various reasons, epidemic well being as it is, who convinced that it was even an optical illusion, it was neither an optical illusion or model, but truly alive, although its appearance was as uncanny, felt chilled by its counter. Folklorist Mary T- Delavane interviewed many elderly people living in Glamorgan area wells in the early 18th, 19th century. They called stories of their youth of a race of winged serpents that lived in the forests around Paladin Castle. Supposedly, their crested heads and feathery wings were brightly coloured and sparkled, as if covered with jewels. They rested coiled on the ground, but they left threatened the but if they felt threatened, they were attacked by swooping down on the intruders. These flying snakes killed poultry and were described as terrors, farmyards, and converts. Many were shot to protect livestock. Yet what is interesting, interesting that both accounts talk of the creatures swimming or sparkling and swooping on intruders. It's possible that some strange flying servant still exists in Wales and could rise to dragon's toys?